Hello everybody, welcome to my show. My name is Jacqueline Williams, executive chef, business owner of Abundant Catering, full, flavorful, and satisfying cuisine. And the three dishes will be made will be a pasta roll, seafood bass wrapped in a potato, and a gluten-free polenta pound cake. And thank you for all my sponsors who made it possible for me to be here today. Thank you for joining me today on this episode. My name is Jacqueline Williams, executive chef, business owner of Abundant Catering, full, flavorful, and satisfying cuisine. The three dishes today would be a spinach formaggio wrapped in a fresh pasta sheets with sun-dried tomatoes and chutney. Also would be a seafood bass wrapped in a potato with a cabernet sauce and a gluten-free lemon polenta pound cake. Thank you for all my sponsors who made it possible for me being here today. Let's get into the show. Thank you again for all my sponsors who sponsored me today and made it possible for me to be here. And let's get right into the show. I'm going to be presenting is a fresh spinach formaggio wrapped in um, pasta sheets. What you do is we're going to first, we're going to Put egg wash, fresh pasta sheets, lay it down. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spinach with the formaggio cheese, which has three types of cheese. We're going to eggs and onions. We're going to layer it onto this pasta sheet here. We're going to spread it. We're going to spread it, then after we spread it, we're going to roll it and we're going to poach it in boiling water. This is a nice starter for an appetizer. I'm going to put a little egg wash right here. You want to leave at least an inch away from the edge so when you start wrapping it you'll be able to and you want to wrap it tight and you're just going to roll and as you roll in you want to continue to make sure it's tight Then when you get to the edge, we're going to egg wash it one more time to seal it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the saran film wrap. We're going to take and fold it over and we're going to pull it very tightly here. As you roll it, because when you poach it, you don't want the water to get into this pasta sheet here. This is a very, this is a favorite, one of my starter dishes, but I said we want to make sure it's wrapped tight so no water seeks into it. I'm going to top this with One more. I like to use three layers of saran wrap just to make sure it has enough.
Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it in this boiling water here. And we're gonna poach it and let it boil. The first pasta sheet was egg, and this one here is spinach. And we're gonna do the same concept. We're gonna take a little egg wash, put it on. Then we're gonna take the remaining spinach formaggio that has ricotta cheese, it has provolone cheese, and it also has mozzarella. And I add a, just a hint of egg with nutmeg in it. Just a hint. To give it flavor. And this appetizer that I'm doing with this fresh spinach formaggio, you could, it could also be used as a versatile. We could also use it for an entree for vegetarians. Vegetarian people love it. Remember, we'll put this, pull it really tight. So also when you cut it, it'll set up. One more layer of saran wrap. Also, I like to wrap it long ways and then oval, over. Go we'll put this in the boiling water and just wait to it poach. The next item that I'm going to be presenting today would be my fresh tomato um, chutney. It has sun dried tomatoes, it has fresh garlic, it has basil, and Roma and diced tomatoes, balsamic vinegar, and fresh basil. I chopped it all up and I added balsamic vinaigrette to it. And this chutney is going to go on top of the fresh pasta sheets once it's done. My next dish is going to be chili and sea bass wrapped inside of a potato skirt. And the chili and sea bass, first we're going to make sure there's no bone and take the skin off. So we're gonna remove the skin. Now 
But there's also sea bass that you can get, Chilean sea bass, that doesn't have any skin or bones. You could, what I'm gonna do here, I'm removing all the skin right now from the fish. Then I'm gonna I'll take and take my potatoes and you have to use a mandolin for the for your potatoes in order for you to be able to wrap the potatoes in this fish. First, we're going to use saran wrap again. All these items require wrapping. It's not very hard, it's just a little time consuming. We will take and peel a potato and then we'll use a mandolin and we will slice it paper thin. And you would need to soak your potato in lemon juice and a little salt water to make them pliable. The thinner you slice it, the easier it will wrap. So I'm going to overlap these potatoes. It seems like it's hard, but it's really not that hard difficult. You want to make the potato big enough so it can fit in the fish. So you may have to overlap it a little bit. But the concept is just laying it out. See if this fit inside. Might need a little bit more overlapping. The whole key. And then what we're going to do after we lap, overlap it, then we're going to take and we're going to fold it in. Then what I'm going to do with this potato, um, you can saute it, but I'm going to bake it today. So I'm going to put it in a baking pan and I'm going to spray it with some olive oil and I'm going to bake it in the oven with the seam side down. Okay, after I finish wrapping this sea bass in the potato, I put it in the saute pan, sprinkle just a little bit of garlic, salt, and I sprayed a little olive oil on top of it. And we're going to pop it in the oven. Pop this in the oven. And in the meantime, while that's cooking, we're going to take some clam juice. And normally I would use Cabernet wine. Reduce the wine down add clam juice to it and let it reduce and finish it with butter.
And while that's cooking, reducing down, I'll saute some leek onions. So now what I'm doing is taking the leek, I rinsed it off real good, and I'm gonna take and slice it. And I'm gonna add this leeks to the Cabernet wine sauce. And I add the leeks right at the end. Then I'm gonna finish it with butter once it's ready. Vegetable that's gonna go with the sea bass wrapped in a um, in a potato skirt would be asparagus. And basically what we're gonna do is just cut the ends off. And we're just gonna saute them with a little olive oil and lightly season a lightning seasoning. Just a little splash of garlic salt. And now that my leek sauce is done, I'm just going to finish it with just a little bit of butter. Just pop this into the pan, saute pan, and just stir it around. Be right back. So now the pasta rolls are done. We're gonna take them out and we're gonna put them on a pan and we're gonna cool them down. And once they cool down, we're gonna slice them and put the fresh tomato chutney on top of it. Be right back. My dessert will be a lemon almond polenta pound cake. The ingredients that went into this polenta pound cake that's gluten-free is almond flour, polenta cornmeal, almond paste, evaporated milk, lemon juice, vanilla, eggs, and bacon. Um, powder. And it's going to be topped with fresh strawberries and whipped cream. This is another favorite that we use at my business with my catering company. There's so many people today who's not able to get the dessert because they're gluten free. So this is made with almond, it has almond flour and polenta. Very tasty and very delicious.
polenta pound cake. So now, what I'm going to be finishing up is the sea bass. The sea bass that was wrapped in the potato. The Cabernet leek sauce with the asparagus and I'm going to take and put the fish on top of the sauce here I'm just going to add a little bit on the top just to drape it. My appetizer, the fresh formaggio wrapped in the pasta sheets. The finished product will look like this. Be right back. Thank you guys for joining me today on this episode. The three dishes that I made was the appetizer, was the spinach formaggio, my sea bass, my polenta pound cake. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me also on Facebook. And my website is AbundantCatering.com.